Denver westbound. Mike, they are getting just walloped with Mother Nature, and I'm thinking everyone's saying thumbs up, high fi give it to me, baby. <laughs> Steph, I will defend you on the all around the studio because I'm looking at the script right now. It's supposed to say Al. There's one too many L's. So, so it does Thank say you, Al. Thank you, Bettis. Thank you. I appreciate it. It does say all. Not your fault. Thank you. Not your fault. So. You're waking up with Al with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. And good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up Without. This is mission control for NASA. It's actually in Houston, even though they take off and land from Cape Canaveral. And they are paying very close attention to what's happening right now because the shuttle is headed back to the terra firma. And we want to go to Cape Canaveral this morning where the shuttle will be landing. That's where Jay Barbary joins us live this morning. I love when Jay's on our show. He's one of my favorite. Jay, I was wondering if they have the same weather criteria for when the shuttle takes off for also when it's landing with the no lightning and the, the low hanging clouds. Is it the same thing? Well, it's pretty much the same. The lightning is sort of out, but they don't, don't want to fly through any rain. And this morning it's CAVU, Stephanie, mm -hmm. ceiling and visibility unlimited, but they do have high winds. They got 21 knots an hour and they closed one of the runways that's landing uh, to the southeast, runway 15, same runway going north to 33, 330 degrees is open right now. So we look good for a landing at 9.44 a.m. And uh, talking about being a fan, I've been a fan of yours for years. Uh, Stephanie, oh, Jay! Years. And, hey, no, no, really, really but I, I have absolutely no respect for your partner, Al Roker. I don't <laughs> like Al Roker at all. And I want Al Jay. to know that. And, and, and Stephanie, I must tell you why. I must tell you why. Yes, why, Al, please. I've known Al. We were friends and all of this. About 20 years ago, I sent him this beautiful correspondent by the name of Deborah Roberts, a perfect oh. correspondent for NBC News. And he Mr. Took your Roper girl. decided to marry her. So I thought that if a friend sent him his wife, he could at least say thank you. He has never said thank you for sending him his wife. So I don't care well, for Jay the guy anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to let him know. We certainly appreciate it, as always. I said, love having you on the show. I have one question. Though. Do you know if they had any freeze-dried turkey when they were on the shuttle yesterday? I really want to know that. Freeze-dried? <laughs> no, I well, yeah. Well, I don't think it's so much freeze-dried as it is this uh, radiated uh, type foods. They have different foods that they take up in different forms, and they actually heat them up in a little heater platter in front of them, and they taste pretty good, they tell me. I've never eaten up huh. there, but I don't know if their turkey was <laughs> freeze-dried or not. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jay, maybe we'll have you do a taste test a little bit later in the show of all the different okay, foods that they good, try. Yeah. We appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thanks for being with us today. Let's have a look at our weather right now for those